Um, Kendrick uh, gave up two runs in the first and then was solid and, uh, and uh, had a good start and obviously put zeros up on the board, uh, giving the offense uh, a chance to, to swing the bats. And uh, the bullpen uh, was very solid. The start of Deakman Hollins and uh, Giles got in there to get his feet wet, uh, literally there, um, <laughs> with a homer and it was muddy out there. Uh, uh, offense, um, some good stuff. A uh, Brignac with a big um, two-out double, driving in two. Uh, Mayberry had some uh, had a very good game with a three-run home run, three hits. Uh, Brownie had a couple of situational at bats, uh, helping setting up base runners, and uh, it was a uh, it was a game with a lot of a lot of rain out there. I don't know if I've seen that much rain in throughout three hours a game, but uh, the guys uh, hung in there and played a good game. Ryan, you talked about for a long time stringing some wins together. How good can they, how much can this help this team to have a sweep going into the weekend and beyond? Well, it's what we were looking for, and all we can do is create some momentum from that. And uh, some, once again, after the first inning, uh, we had good starting pitching. Uh, the bullpen was good, and we had uh, we had some base runners and some clutch hitting. So that's uh, that's something that we want to continue to do, and uh, and starting it off this home stand with the sweep uh, that can go a long way with us. Well, now we have a chance, uh, so that's what we want to build on. I mean, were you aware of that? Uh, I don't know if I was or not, but uh, we can uh, we can definitely build on uh, on this series and uh, and continue forward. Is it getting tough to leave Mayberry out of the lineup? I mean, he's per played really well whenever you put him in. Yeah, he uh, he had a good game today. He al he's always prepared and. Uh, um, Definitely played a big part in uh, in today's game. He's he, he'd be a consideration. What, what was your impression of uh, Giles? I was impressed with the first pitch strike down in the zone at 100, and uh, I was a little bit surprised that ball got out of the ballpark. It looked like a looked like a fly ball, but he probably su supplied some extra power there. But it looked like a looked like a routine fly ball carried out, and he right back to the strike zone. Um, but uh, the fastballs he threw, good zip on them, and he threw a couple good breaking pitches for strikes. It seems like that slider, if he's putting the fastball around the plate, that slider can it's be just, really nasty. You know? Yeah, with two strikes, looked like a, the, the hitter was really uh, sped up there and, uh, and was cheating for 100 miles an hour, so that, that could be big. Also threw a slider for a strike, which is important. All right, having played your career for the Cubs like you did, does Jimmy being this close to Mike's record make this weekend any more exciting for you guys as a team or for you personally? Well, I, th I just think it's a, uh, you know, he's on the he's on the doorstep of a remarkable uh, feat. Uh, so uh, the guys are well aware of it, and uh, he's uh, he's having some good at bats, uh, base hit up the middle, uh, using the whole field. Uh, that's that's the right direction to uh, to get the job done, but. Uh, he's, he's having some good at bats. Did you, was it in your mind a little bit difficult to rest Howard today because two at bats, two home runs against that pitcher, or were you committed to giving him a day? Well, with with KK out there, I wanted to give, um, I actually wanted to give at bats for May, Mayberry against the lefty, and uh, also a little bit uh, added defense with the potential of them having a lot of left handers uh, in the lineup. And there was a lot of balls hit to chase, uh, a couple hit to. Uh, to first base, but it was also for some defense I behind he, KK. Sorry about that. I, I know he ended up striking out, but, but Ryan had a real tough at bat, 13 pitches before Reed gets up there. Did you feel like that is important when a pitcher you know, is made to work like that and then Reed comes in there and maybe he's a little softened up? Uh, well, Howard battled him, uh, that's for sure. And I, um, you know, at that point, uh, Reed came up and, uh, and picked up a teammate. Right there with uh, with another big hit for him. Uh, he's, he's doing a nice job uh, getting some strikes uh, in the zone and putting some good swings on it. It was a big hit at the time. Did you think Cliff came out of his session today fine? Yeah, Cliff Lee just played catch and he came he came out fine. Right, the last month, Reed's had I think three game winning RBIs. 
How valuable has he turned out to be for this team? Oh, he's doing a nice job in a uh, with an opportunity. Um, he's uh, he's he's got a potential bat. Uh, we saw that in the spring training. He's uh, he's come up big. He's uh, he's kind of a free swinger up there. Lets it go, and uh, it's good to have uh, good to have a guy like that around. Uh, he's he's up there trying to make something happen. That's for sure. Kendrick's, Kendrick's ERA first inning is about nine, and the rest of the game is about three point one. Yeah, it's puzzling. It, that, that's puzzling. <laughs> Uh, it really is, and he's, he's trying to work on that. He's trying to work on uh, establishing uh, the strike zone, and uh, uh, I believe one of the runs was unearned. Um, but um, you know what? Other than that, he he did minimize there, and he put up zeros after that. But that's definitely something that he's he's working on, and he needs to get better at. I was just wondering. It was kind of a you had the game in hand. Giles is making his debut, much hyped. Uh, everybody's been waiting for him, and he gives up a home run. <laughs> do you guys feel for him in the dugout, or do you do you, do you laugh or you cry? What do you, what do you feel like when he gives up a home run in his big league debut? I was first of all a little bit surprised uh, the ball got out, mm -hmm. but uh, his 100 miles an hour might have something to do with that. Other than that, it was hey, we'll get the next guy, and was glad to see him uh, get back in the strike zone. So that's that's the major leagues. Uh, you know, it's a different level. So maybe he, uh, I would say maybe he turned it up a notch, but he already had it turned up uh, already. But uh, you know what? He got right back in there and he got the next guy. That was impressive. I know you, this was obviously a tie game at this point. I know he had a terrific game, but did Mayberry say anything when he came back to the bench after the play at the plate? Because he clearly should have been safe at the, the, the leg that was <coughs> um, When I went out there initially, that's what the umpire said he saw was the foot come up. Looked like it kind of caught and hit uh, the catcher's foot, and, and that kind of pushed it upward. That's that's kind of what I saw from the replay. Other than that, he would have slid right across. So it looked like he made contact with the catcher's foot, and that that got his foot up in the air. Was it always your plan to, to just use Giles for one batter his first time, or what, what was? No, it? not necessarily. Was uh, um, we just trying to pick a spot to get him in there and uh, and get the feel of things, and um, they did have a left-handed. Hitter coming up to start the inning, and uh, and Holland's hadn't pitched in five or six days, so it was good for both of them. What's your net? Is he? Uh, I mean, is is it a process breaking him in, or is he? Is uh, we, we'll uh, we'll find spots for him, and uh, get him get him comfortable, and uh, let him uh, let him continue to grow here.